Hey guys, how are you? I'm excited for this one. I really am. So this jewelry bag that we're going to open today is 15 pounds. We're not going to get to all of it. Um, it was $43 and with shipping, it was actually very expensive. It was 73 total, but it's 15 pounds and I'm hoping it's a good one. And thanks for joining me. I love all of your comments. So please give a thumbs up. Um, when you watch this video, either before or after, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing and sharing, that would be awesome. We're trying to grow the channel and sales, obviously part of that as well on Poshmark and Etsy, um, which you can find those links in the about section. People have been asking me about that. Um, and you can find um, my information on where I sell in the about section of the YouTube. So, and the subscribe I think is just below. Anyway, thanks for joining me. This is a Whopper. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I've been looking forward to this and I'm doing this one on a lunch break, um, but I can't keep my hands off it because I'm too excited. Okay, first piece out of the bag is for holiday. This is a ceramic piece with an articulated little sign here that says snow angel and it's ceramic. And it's a little snowman with a star and her angel wings. Very cute. I'm not much for holiday jewelry, but many people are. This has its original tag on it. It's made in Thailand. And it is a little stuffed turtle brooch, if you can believe that. So, um, I don't know who would wear that, but probably not my thing personally, but... Who knows? People like the craziest things. And here is another brooch. This one's a little more traditional and it looks like a wreath with little baby pearls on it. Let me see if it has a maker's mark. I don't think it does, but it's sweet and all the pearls are there. So that's nice. I'm not sure they're real if they're real pearls, but um, they're cute. If they are, they're seed pearls. It's very small. Bunch of holiday stuff here. This says Joyce Maxwell Christmas 1994. So someone made that. I guess it's um, an artisan named Joyce Maxwell. So that's cute. Very sweet. Looks like we're getting a bunch of brooches in here. Um, this is kind of a wild watch. It's pink with a zebra print and rhinestones all around. I bet my stepdaughter would like that. We love the animal print. I'm going to ask her about that and her favorite color is pink. So let's see if I can get that in working condition. Don't know. Um, I did peek and see a bunch of watches in this one. This says um, Armatron now and also... Um, has stones around it. This one's in a light gray. I might have to ask my husband and see if he can learn how to put watch batteries in. I am very um, klutzy at stuff like that. And this is, I don't know, this looks like a brand I can't think of. Maybe like a Skagen watch? Just by the way that band is. I don't know, I have to look that up. It's not marked though. I, I would think if it was a Skagen, it would be marked somewhere and I don't see that. So, anyway. Okay, we have a necklace. This is a dressier necklace with faux pearls and rhinestones. And I don't know, it's a little, I feel like it's a little rusty and on the um, clasp there. So I'm gonna put that into a craft lot. And okay, this looks like a whole bunch of pearls, faux pearls. Looks like some kind of lariat, which I love because you can tie it in so many ways. 
Okay, so this is faux pearls and it is Lariat style. So you can pretty much tie it in a variety of ways, including like a scarf, you know, um, so that it's kind of like that. Cute. Oh, I love these. Oh, by the way, I always talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing um, pretty much my own jewelry today um, from my husband. And then I have Sarah Coventry earrings. I don't think I've posted these yet, but they're really cute. They're in um, silver tone. Very pretty. These are very intense earrings. And you can see huge in scale. I see a few of them in here. So looks like we've got the pair and this looks like one of those like sugar fix or something. Um, and that's sweet. I think you can, yeah, let me see. Here's the maker's mark. Yep, <laughs> sugar fix. Getting better at this guys, I'll tell ya. Um, okay, and let's see what this is. We have a magnetized bracelet. Um, I don't think it's magnetized anymore. No, this is broken. All right, that was okay. And this is very rusty. It's a little pendant necklace. Looks like a donut. And it's pretty discolored. So any of the stuff that's not in good shape goes in the craft lot. Pretty beret. Different faux pearls and um, gold beads. And I can't believe what I'm about to show you. I don't know if this is jewelry, but it's very cute. It's got the price tag on. It says Pacific Craft, and it's a little teddy bear. That's definitely going into the kids' lot. Look how cute he is. Oh, so sweet. I don't think it has anything to do with jewelry, but nonetheless, oh, I remember having this as a little girl. Um, and this is probably going to be for the kids' lot. I'm sure this is a handmade little Indian doll on beads for the kids. And I see a little red earring. And this says Napier. I don't know if it's broken in the back. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to find the other one. It may need a post there. Looks like it could have had a lever back at some point, but we shall see what we find. Um, here we have a silver chain. Let's see if this is silver. Um, it is attracted to the magnet. It's also broken at the end. And it looks like maybe, oh, it is marked 925. Some of these things though, they're attracted to the magnet. It does look like silver, I'll have to test it. It could have been that it was attracted to the lock, although, I don't know guys, I'm, um, it's mildly attracted to this. Can you see that? Anyway. Um, I will test that. I've been using the tester. And here's a little sweet earring with a heart. Let's see if this is marked at all. And I don't see anything that doesn't look real. Nope, it is not. But that's cute. This is pretty. This is one of those memory wire bracelets. But the beads are really, really nice. Um, crystals and faux pearls and so that's super pretty I get a lot of these but they're not all this kind of quality my cat is literally screaming outside the door hold on guys I gotta let her in I, I don't have the heart to leave her out there because she likes to be here with me So sorry about that. Um, 
My cat does not like when any of the doors are closed. She may or may not come in here, but she does not like when we are in another room. Okay, so here we have a Christmas tree brooch. That's pretty large in scale, as you can see. And I don't see a maker's mark at all. But if you like Christmas jewelry, that's that's pretty awesome. So look how big that is. Pretty. Um, this is a stretchy black and white. It actually looks more like a cream. So there's that. Bye, where are you going? Okay, have fun. That was my stepson. Um, and here we have a bracelet. Looks like Mother of Pearl. Very pretty. And I like that. It's got a lot of stretch and life to it still. Oh, I just got stuck with a pin. Okay, this is another handmade pin. I'm gonna shut it. It's kind of um, kind of worn down, discolored watermelon. Okay. Huh. Okay, this is something. Here's an earring, very large earring. You can see it's almost like a mobile. Um, very large earring. Stretch, losing its stretch, and these are plastic beads, so that goes in a bead lot. Um, long strand of um, plastic beads. Nothing exceptional there. I'm putting that in the bead lot too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we do have the match to that pink earring. So that's nice. The match to that. I think that's kind of fun. And, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice. Here we have a stretch with um, shells, mother of pearl. Pretty. I need to put together a lot of beach stuff, um, boho stuff. This is Walk for Wellness. No idea what this is. It's in a plastic case. It came with some instructions and it looks brand new. Pedometer. Oh, I wonder if my dad would like this. He's been walking a lot. Okay, I might have to give that to him. I don't know. But the iPhones kind of measure, right? What what you do in terms of how many miles you walk. So I don't know if you even need those anymore, but this is reversible. On one side is gray and the other side is pink. And it is a link necklace. Kind of cool. Um, and then we have a mother of pearl bracelet. this was going to be a better bag let's see let's let's hope for the best but I don't know I, from what I was peeking at it looked like there were better things but I'm about to see something better I'm pretty sure okay yeah I've been wanting one of these bracelets so okay this is genuine stone I can see this might be sterling too um, okay they put this sorry guys um, if you just give me a minute, they wrapped a few of these bracelets in a um, twist tie, like a, a garbage bag twist tie, so I need to just unravel it here. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny, my stepson popping into the video. Wish you could have seen him to say hello. It's, it's very funny working during this COVID period, right? Because people walk in and out and... <laughs> Everyone's used to it now, right? It's just like there's no issue at all. This is really, really pretty. These are genuine stones. Looks like um, I need to look these up, I think. But these are genuine stones. Let me see if it's marked in any way. Um, oh, maybe it's not. It says Liz Claiborne LC. And I don't think she makes any... Um, fine jewelry at all I think it's all costume um, and I mean you can see how they look like genuine stones maybe they are I'll have to do some research they could also be really well done 
Um, but I don't know, you can see through them and stuff too. So, And here's a gold rope bracelet. This has a tag on it. And it's probably Napier or Monet is my guess. It's definitely vintage. It is a Monet. So it's got a vintage clasp to it. And where's that third bracelet? The third bracelet um, is white and gold. And let's see if it has a maker's mark. Sorry about that, guys. I'm shutting this down. And yep, I I think this has to have a maker's mark on it. This looks like this really does look like a Napier or Monet. And maybe the tag has been pulled off. Um, but it is very pretty. It's definitely vintage. Um, it's white leaves on gold. It's in great condition. Very, very pretty. And then the other necklace that was in here, which I'm curious about, this looks like real stones. I've wanted one of these and I have not bought one for myself. Um, but it looks like there might be some jade, carnelian, maybe that's onyx. Don't know. Let me look at the markings. Yep, 925. And it says FAS. So these are obviously real stones here. That is very pretty. And I may keep that for myself because I've been wanting one of those. So, and you can imagine how nice that would look stacked with some silver bangles, right? Very pretty. Love it. Okay, this has the original tag on it. It says Dia and Co. D I A. And it looks a little tangled. So, this is going to take a moment or two to untangle, but it looks like it's got a very pretty pendant there. I like that. And I will untangle it. Um, sweet little bracelet. This looks like gold tone. And uh, let's say those are faux pearls. And where is the catch? Um, it's got a vintage clasp on it. And it does not have a maker's mark or any marking. So this is costume. Okay. And a bunch of vintage stuff in here. Here's a pretty bow with a rhinestone center. And this says Avon. Okay. And what is this guy? Oh my goodness, this little guy. <laughs> These are funny. I bet if you're a teacher, you could wear stuff like this and have some fun with the kids. I think that's a frog. Is that a frog? I don't know what that is. See, I can't put that in the kids' lab because I don't want the kids playing with something like that, right? You, you don't want to give them a brooch, um, especially if they're young. But I guess if I was a teacher, I'd wear it. And, you know, kids could look at it in class, right? Oh, I realized the other day that I now have so much jewelry that I have nothing to ask my husband for for the holidays. I almost always, in fact, I always ask for jewelry. He will ask me what I want and I tell him um, each and every time I want a piece of jewelry. But now I have no right to ask for any jewelry because my whole house is full of these things. These are like Mardi Gras beads. They're kind of whatever, plastic. They're just in a bead lot. Okay, hello Santa. Hello skinny Santa. Looks like Santa hasn't been eating his cookies. So there's that. That's a brooch. A lot of brooches. Here's another one. Pretty butterfly with some enamel. And he's cute. Or her. She's cute. This is Jerry's with a G. Here's another vintage piece, it's a necklace um, with faux pearls and gold 
beads. That's quite nice. It's on the shorter side. Um, okay, now let's see these. There's a difference between the beads, the cheap beads that I just showed you that I put into the bead lot, which are like kind of like Mardi Gras beads, like plastic light. And then these, which are, I can already see, um, much heavier. There's gold beads in between each one. It's definitely vintage because of that clasp. And now let's see the hang tag, which looks like, I know, I'm gonna know what this is. I'm sure it's Napier and Monet. Um, and it is Monet. And so these are, these are much nicer and they're in great condition, probably from the 60s or 70s or so, maybe from the 50s. I don't know, I have to look at the Monet logo. Um, I do have the Monet book, which is very informative um, and shows you the different logos and, you know, it's indicative of, of what year um, based on what the logo looks like. This is broken, a broken necklace. Another brooch. I think I'm going to have to wear all Christmas brooches on Christmas this year. Um, you know, or, you know what, I have a better idea. I bet I could string these and put them on the tree. Um, if we have a tree. I don't know what we're doing about a tree this year. Okay, this is a stretch. It's got like a light green stone, almost like a peridot. And these are kind of cheapies. I'm tossing that in the bead lot. Not interested in that one. Uh, we have something else for the kids lot. And this is all oh, little different cakes and cupcakes. That's cute. Doesn't look like a kid's size though. Let's see what it says on the back of it. MGA Entertainment. Okay, I don't know. But I don't think I'll be wearing that. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this looks like a silver tone ring. Teardrop. Um, this does not look silver, but it is pretty. Put that on. Very nice. And we've got a heart brooch. I'm telling you, this bag is really interesting. It's got a little of everything, doesn't it? So there's a heart brooch. And let's see what it says. It says Avon. That's cute. Looks like there's a design inside. Oh, it's flowers. I don't know if you can see that. So, very nice assortment in here. Very interesting. Okay, here's an earring. Looks like green pearls and let's see if there's a Mako's mark. Japan. I don't know about that one, guys, but everyone has different taste. Oh, I remember my mom used to have a necklace all with these flowers. I bet she still has it. There's a bunch of Costume jewelry waiting for me to look at that I haven't seen in such a long time, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, no idea. Oh, look how cute! This is a teddy bear ring box, and in the ring box are little teddy earrings. And those, could those be gold? They look gold. Let's see. Let's see, guys. No, they're marked Korea. But what a cute present for a little one, right? A little girl who just got her ears pierced. It's a cute, and it's packaged so cute. Love it. Okay, this looks like a nice piece of quartz on a chain. This does have a maker's mark, so I will look at it in a second. 
Um, this is very heavy, so I'm sure this is real quartz, and it's got gold around it, gold tone around it, and let's see who makes it. Oh, I'm surprised. This was made by Express. So, that's really pretty. And this is definitely for the kids. Every time I send them something, it's like I have a new bag put together for them right after. This looks like Alex and Ani. Many of these are not in good condition, but this does look like it's in good condition. Infused with energy technology, so that's good to know. Um, so this one is in good condition, so I might try and sell that. But many of them come and they're like really tarnished and... I'm not a fan of that, as you know. Um, I don't know what this is, but this looks maybe handmade. It's a brooch, and I don't know. Um, it looks handmade. It looks like there's an abalone shell in there. I don't know if it's got any kind of maker's mark. Um, I don't see any. It looks like it could have been silver, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll try and polish that up, but I'm not sure what the deal is there. I don't know. I also don't know which way the chains are supposed to go. I don't know. I mean, I think it's supposed to go that way, but okay. And this is one of those um, pendants, gold um, glass pendants. In green. Here is another brooch. This is a butterfly. It's pretty well done. Let's see what that is. Um, I don't know guys if that's glass or I thought might have been sterling. Um, but I don't see any markings on it at all. It's quite heavy too. So, pretty though. And the stones are kind of faceted in there. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh, look at this brooch. Okay, this is a little bird and he's at his nest and the nest has his, her eggs, um, not his, her eggs in there. And the eggs are pearls. This is also Jerry's. Wow, that's super sweet, isn't it? Did I see where this is from yet? I think this is from Pennsylvania. Um, very interesting um, selection of stuff. And I like it because it's very diversified um, with brooches and earrings and Okay, not sure what this is. Um, earrings for the sun. And it's got like a disc behind it. Um, and let's see if it has any markings on it. This looks sterling to me. I, I don't know, let's see. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> It's stuck to the magnet. They are cute though. All right, we'll keep them together. You never know sometimes. Sometimes something has like that patina and it looks like it's sterling, but it's just not. Just some other kind of metal. And then we'll put those by the earrings. Um, okay. I don't know what this is, but it's very discolored. The pendant's kind of fine, but look at the thread there. I don't like that. Craft lot. Um, this is one of those bracelets, clamps on. Um, that's okay. Eh. All right, I love these. I always love the enamel. Um, enamel bracelets. 
I'll look to see if there's a maker's mark in here. I think I see one. Um, and that is like a, a brown tone with stones on it. Um, and I don't see a maker's mark. I thought I did. No. Okay. No. And I'm sure that's vintage. Um, okay, let's get to that after. Okay, fascinating. This is a homemade pin. It says watermelon for sale. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe someone ran a farm stand or something. Don't know. But I don't think I can sell that. Um, it's kind of funny though. This looks like a Leah Sophia something. Um, and it's got those two clasps, which means there's probably something else in here that it goes with. Um, this is cute. It's an owl ring. Now, owls are lucky. I did look this up, guys, because I find so many owls in these. And I felt like, okay, there's got to be some kind of reason. And it is... Um, it is lucky. Owls are lucky and it's lucky to gift an owl to somebody or owl jewelry. And it also, um, in addition to luck, um, gives you wisdom apparently. And, um, it means someone's watching over you. So, okay. This is a cute little charm bracelet stretch all different things for vacation in the beach, sunglasses, a cocktail, all those things. I didn't show this. This is a, another stretch, very cheap plastic beads. I don't know what these are carved with. I'm not sure. Okay. Trying to reach for some fun stuff. Ow, I just got stuck by a brooch. Here's a snowman brooch. Looks like he's all dressed up for winter. And here we have the match to the earring I showed you earlier from Japan. Okay, let's see what this is. This looks vintage to me. And it's signed, and it is signed Trafari. A lot of white jewelry in the um, vintage genre. I think it was in the 60s that this was popular. Okay. Oh, I've had this before and I've sold this before. These are um, collector's item. It's um, called House Pins by Lucinda. And I've sold a few of these. I hadn't heard of it before. I started selling. This is a brand new watch and it is marked Bell and Rose Quartz. Um, it's like enamel and it's got the lock on the winder there so it's new. And add it to my watch collection. I need to figure out the watches. I have to ask Mark for his help. Um, this is a cloisonne earring. I love these. I have a bunch of cloisonne earrings and bracelets for sale right now. They're all in my, um, I think for the most part, they're all in my Etsy. And here is another watch. I'll tell you what this says. It says Relic. And um, we've got, you could probably hear my husband coughing in the background. My husband drinks more soda than you've ever seen in your life, and he keeps coughing, and he won't stop drinking soda. So this is the Relic brand. I've never heard of this. It's a pretty blue watch, though, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. You hear that? Terrible, right? Doesn't listen to me. This looks vintage. Very pretty brooch, and it's a floral pattern there. Very pretty. 
Whoa, what is this? Okay, this is pretty awesome. This is awesome. What is this? Okay, this is going to be Chico's watch. Yep. Okay, so whenever I see a piece like this that looks like amazing and tribal, and it's either tribal and southwestern or something neat, or it's going to be Chico's. And this one is Chico's. And it's pretty darn cool. It's very long, by the way. And that's awesome. It looks like a um, carved piece and it looks very authentic. I actually opened the Arizona bag the other day and do you remember I found something that looked just like this but it was it was kind of like a quartz um, and that was the the real the real McCoy but that's a copy and it's kind of cool. Um, obviously not as expensive as the real thing either. All right this is um, a costume piece with all different crystals there necklace. Um, I see another oops, bangle. This one is green. Looks similar to the brown one. And it's got stones all around. So that's kind of a set. Matches me today as well. Um, this is a stretch I think it's too discolored to sell, so I'm going to put that in a bead lot. Someone will enjoy crafting with it. Um, we've got an earring that looks like a sunshine. That's cute. I'd love it if that were silver, right? Not attracted to the magnet. Let us see. Let's see, guys. Like I said, it could also be stainless steel. Um, it doesn't look like it's marked. I'm going to start testing things because I, I do know how to work the tester now. Um, I do like that too. A little sun. Another skinny Santa Claus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe he's not eating cookies on his visits down the chimney because of COVID. Maybe he's afraid of germs. That's why he's so skinny. Don't know. Do not know. All right, what's this big thing down here? I think this is another brooch. This says made in China. It's another Santa. See, there's fat pre-COVID Santa. Ho, ho, ho. It looks like his face is on my body. Um, okay. And this is costume and broken. So put that in the craft lot. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, this is a huge watch. This is one for my stepson. I'm gonna take this ring off now. This is one for my stepson. It looks like his um, his dad's tag Hoyer watch. And no, I think this says Sonoa. But I like the looks of these big chunky watches for men. And I'm going to see Samoa. Right? I mean, that's cool for a guy. Very masculine. I'll ask him if he likes that. But I think that's a good looking watch for a guy. But who knows? Who knows? You never know what teenagers are going to like. This is a watch, too. It's a Geneva watch, and it's a wrap watch, but it's all broken. So, craft lot. Another watermelon. What's with these watermelons? This is kind of crappily. Crappily done. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, this is legit. This is Santa Claus. Holy cow. Okay. This is like... The wrapper version of Santa Claus. Look at that necklace. That is cray cray. It's heavy too. Can you imagine? <laughs> that cracks me up. Cracks me up. All right, I'm torn here. Do we go on or do we finish this another day? I should probably go back to my day job. This is faux 
druzy and it's needing to be cleaned but that's a pretty nice pendant it's very big let's try and clean that because that's kind of cool all right this looks like jade or aventurine it's a stretch and i see a very john hardy ish um style bracelet these are never real though in these bags though so i don't get excited anymore because this is going to be oh although people have found those in here but i don't think i'm that lucky i don't think so um, it is nicely done though. So, and I, I do have a, a Yerman and I have a couple fake Yermans. They all look good together. I'll tell you that. Um, don't know what this is, a ring of some sort. And here's another brooch. So that looks like a big snowflake. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. It's a little mouse, but he's got a moving tail. Oh, let's see who makes this guy. He's cute. I mean, you don't want him in your house, but he's cute. Does not have a name on him, but look how adorable he is. Right? Let's see. He makes some sweet things, I'll tell you. Oh, good, a present for my hubby. Although he doesn't ride a motorcycle, but these are really nice. These are cufflinks. And they're motorcycles. That's pretty cute. I like that. I wonder if they could be sterling. Probably not, but you never know. You never know, guys. Big hoop. And not sterling. And I don't know. It's looking a little rusty. I'm tossing it. Tossing it. Um, okay. I want to keep going. Should I keep going? I don't know what to do. No, I should go back to work. Okay. Um, I'm going to do three more things, and then I'm going back to work, and we'll do the rest later. I don't know what this earring says. It is not marked. Um, it is some type of... Um, I love this earring, actually. Some type of uh, jaguar or cougar or something. So I kind of love that a lot. Um, okay, what did I say? Three more things? Three more things. I want them to be good, though. I always want my three more to be so good. This is not good. That's a random bead. This is a very tarnished guess necklace. Um, yeah. I don't know. Can I clean that? No, it's too tarnished. Okay. All right, so three more things. Three more things. See, these are broken things. They shouldn't count. This is broken. Um, that's beautiful, though, isn't it? Darn it. They, they fastened it with a safety pin. I'm going to look at that more closely because that might be jets all right two more things two more things guys this looks vintage and it's marked it's got a hang tag it's also causing a lot of tangles i have a few of these um it is a chain gold chain with like a black chain kind of strung through it trafari And I think they did the same thing with these necklaces that they did with the bracelets, which is tie them in a knot. All right, so we'll get to that another day. Um, okay, this looks like it could be Bakelite. And this is so gross, but with Bakelite, you rub your finger against the um, bead or ring or whatever. It is not. It will smell like formaldehyde, like your science lab. Um, this is pretty though. I don't think it's marked with anything. 
I've got a bunch of beads like this. These were very popular um, at some point, I think in the 60s. But Bakelite, I think, um, was originated in the 20s in popular 20s, 30s, 40s-ish. I think they stopped making it in the 40s. That's an owl. Kind of crappy, very thin. I'm going to toss that. It looks like a shrinky dink. Um, and this is pretty. This is all crystals and rhinestone. So it's like a smoky rhinestone too. It's not like a clear rhinestone. All right, I'm going past the three, aren't I? Oh, I don't want to stop. I love doing these so much. It makes my day. Oh, all right, two more things, two more things, two more things, guys. Ow. Oh, these brooches keep sticking me. Keep picking crappy things. That's another shrinking ink. Um, all right, let me look for something good. Darn it. All right, this is, this looks like it could be something nice. Um, it's a pendant. This looks like a Lexus guitar, but it's not. Um, it's definitely not, and it's a little bit worn down here. I can't get it out. All right, this is full of tangles. What else do I have? I have another necklace. This is broken. Not having much luck here, guys. Um, okay, I'm going to pull three things, and then that's it. One. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm putting the bag down. It's like crack, guys. Crack, I'm telling you. Oh, no. All these beads just fell out. Um, well, that's a good place to stop because everything just rolled out of here. Okay, I'll just finish up what I have. Here's a little frog brooch and so many brooches. I don't know if he's marked. Um, he's not. He's super cute, though. Look at his face. Cute. This is definitely amber, looks like. Um, this looks like amber to me. So that's a necklace, long necklace. And what else did I pull out? Okay, um, this bracelet. Let's see what this says. It's got a stone missing. Let's see what this was, anything? No, I don't see a maker's mark. But there's a stone missing there, see? Um, although it is pretty, maybe I'll hold it aside. There could be a stone in the bottom of there. And one earring, and then that's it. I've got to put this away. This is not marked. It's a clip earring. And it, um, it is pretty. It's uh, floral and enamel. Okay, we'll do the second half soon. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> There's beads falling everywhere. Thank you so much for joining. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.